And as you can see, in the right corner, we have a tool set called Toolbar. You can access it via Tools and then Toolbar right here at the top. Now this allows you to customize certain elements of your site. Let's say that you don't want the social bar. You can click delete or delete on your keyboard. You can copy and paste it like so. You can duplicate it and you can even select all of these with the shift key. If you click align, you're going to have them all aligned evenly on top of each other. If you want it, you could even distribute them evenly, but we're just going to leave them as is for now. Let's click on delete and continue on with the design of the top header. Let's move the entire area to the right. And then we're going to go here and delete the unnecessary letters after we click on it. And type in Yoga GoPro to match the uh, site that I'm building. Then I'm going to select all of these and scroll to choose a different font. Let's say this one here called DIN Next Light. Okay, great. I'm going to resize this a little bit. Move it to the right and make some space for the logo that I've made earlier. I'm going to click add and then click on image. My image uploads and then you'll see this little logo that I've made and I'm going to add it to the page like so. I'm going to drag it out right here and now we have our entire header designed. Let's make a few small adjustments to the positioning and things are looking pretty good. Now, moving on to the next section, we're going to make some changes. We're going to call it the About section. So click the Pages setting, and you're going to click the three dots right here. And instead of Services, we're going to rename this page to About in all caps. Click Done, and as you can see, that is now changed at the top, but not at the anchor point, which we'll discuss. Now, anchor points are an important feature. Single click on an anchor link will take you directly to a specific part of your website without having to scroll to see it or move to another page. So the, what I'm going to do is just go to the anchor point and rename it to About. We're going to click the X and then Choose the settings right here. Oops. No, I'm going to click this at the top. Click on Manage Menu. Click About again. The three dots. And then change the link. Now I'm going to click the About Anchor Point, which is going to link me back to this section. Let me save this. After I save it, I'm going to preview it so that I can show you what I mean. When I go here and I click About at the top, right away it scrolls to the About section. Great. Let's go back now to the editor. And we're going to move things around a bit so that we can make room for our text here at the bottom. I'm going to click the anchor point for Winter Specials and drag this down. All right, let's just say this is the exact space that I need. Just like so. Now I can change the background by clicking on the entire strip and then click Change Strip Background. I'm going to click it and choose Color. I'm going to choose black. Now the entire section's in black. 
to match the site. I'm going to close this and situate the anchor point so that it meets the section below and there's no white strip showing. And now we're going to make the text below this section. So I'm going to take the text right here, duplicate it, and then drag it down. Once I do that, I can change the text to match our section, so about me. I can make it bigger if I want to, and I can change the color to say white. Great. I'm going to resize this a little bit by dragging it out. And now we're gonna al align it to the entire page so that it's centered. Now let's make a little decoration by choosing this little border right here. I'm going to copy this, duplicate it, and then just drag it out to the bottom. And there you go. I'm going to make a text box. So let's choose something from the theme. I'm going to click Add Text, and I'm going to take this paragraph and drag it out here. Now, you can't see anything because everything is in black, so I'm going to change this to white so that you can see it. Much better. Okay, great. I can change the font to something we've already used, like Helvetica. We can change the font like we did before. Let's see. Yeah, 18, 18 looks good. I'm going to enlarge this box a bit, and now we're going to center it to the page, like so. So we can basically copy and paste text that I've made earlier and pop it in here. Let me just find it. All right, just bear with me while I find the text. And then all I'm going to do is go ahead and click Edit Text, paste it, and there we have it. Now the white looks a bit harsh, so I'm going to just adjust that and choose Gray. Click the plus and then choose Gray. And for that little area at the bottom, we're going to put a button about here. All right, so I'm looking for the icon that says duplicate. Select, click duplicate. Now we don't want to drag the button, we just want to duplicate it. and then I can position it in that area that I had mentioned earlier. All right, now the text of the button is going to say read more. So I'm just gonna change the text. Now in this area, I just want the partial bio and I'm gonna make a new page which will link to the full bio. So I'm gonna go back up to the left and click on the Pages pane, and I'm going to click on Add Page right here. I'm going to call it Full Bio, all caps, and click Done. And now we're going to drag out the whole section to make it bigger, like so. Now let's change the strip to something more appropriate. For example, we can add an image. I'm going to click Add to Page. Now we added a box, but we don't want that. We want to change the entire background. 
So I'm going to click that and then change pane background. And for the image, I'm going to choose this one here. And then here we go. I'm going to add a box. Click on box and a white box like this one. I'm going to drag it out and then I'm going to put the full text of the bio in this section. Just going to align that. And now what we're going to do is just go back to the home page. From the pages menu. And I'm going to copy this entire section right here. I'm going to click copy. And then I'll go back to the full bio again from the pages menu and paste it in. Again, you can barely see the letters because everything here is in white. So I'm going to click design and I'm going to click black. Same thing for the text. Maybe I can choose this purple right here. Okay, and I can make this a bit more of a contrast. I'm going to edit the text color as well. I'm going to make it more of a gray. Yeah, that looks good. And now I can make this entire box bigger with the entire bio that I wanted to link to. I'm going to click Edit Text, paste it like so, and now I'm going to choose the font back to Helvetica, same one that I had chosen earlier. And now I'm going to make a button that will take me back to the home page. I can drag all of this to the top a little bit. Just get it aligned and ready for the button. And then I'm going to click add and click on the button right here. So I'm going to drag this one out. How does that look? Mm, text is a bit small. So I'm going to deselect that and choose something else. One that has slightly bigger text like this. Now I can actually change the text like we did before to say back to home page. Now I'm going to click add a link that will take me back to the home page and even more specifically back to the about anchor point by clicking about. Now I'm going to make this entire button a bit bigger and round out the corners by changing the design. I'm going to click Customize Design right here and then click on the radius. There you go. Now we have this page completely separate from our home page. So I'm going to click Home. I'm going to save it and now we can see how it looks by clicking on preview. Nice. I'm going to click read more and as you can see it links me to the booking page for some reason. So I'm going to go back. It's very important to double check all the changes you make to make sure everything works. I'm going to scroll down and at the read more button, I'm going to change the link, not to book online, but rather to full bio. I'm going to click done, save, let's preview it one more time. Click read more, awesome, goes to the about me page just like we wanted. And it's completely separate from the home page, very easily done. Let's go back to the home page and save our work now before moving on. Good. Keep up the great work. I'll see you at lesson four.